Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I want to show you how I use 3D models in Procreate to make tattoo designs. Uh, it still has some limitations, but uh, you can do some pretty uh, cool things with it. And there's different ways to use it. And um, I will just give you some tips and um, show you how I do it. It can be a little uh, time consuming but uh, it also can be a lot of fun to play around with and it's a cool way to show designs to your clients in a way uh, that couldn't be done before so i'm just going to um, show you some things so here you have a male torso when you first download it um, the object is white uh, you can uh, change the skin uh, tone to whatever color you want. So if you drop it, the skin will uh, change. Sometimes uh, it will not uh, take all parts. It seems like one part, but it is not one part. If you go to uh, 3D and show two, uh, 2D texture, you see the individual parts. That's what uh, the whole model is made of. So if I go back, here you can see the individual parts. So if you change the skin tone, and you uh, get this so it does not um, select all the parts there's a way to um, uh, change the skin tone of the whole object I will show you and then in that way you drop and then you swipe to the left and then you can see the threshold is changing so now we will get all the parts of the object so um, to design on it um, there's different ways you can do it so uh, now you see the 3d uh, function if you go to 3d show 2d texture you can draw on it like this and then go to canvas and reference and then you will see it in 3d also so if you go to layers this is the base layer we create a new layer don't draw on this layer draw on a new layer so if I pick a liner and I will pick black. Everything I draw on here you can see it's a little bit tricky sometimes. Now it's uh, on the front. So the back. So you draw it here and you can see it here. But the way I like to use it, um, take off the reference, go to 3D again. So now it's a 3D file. I like to make my designs um, on a separate uh, file and then uh, place it on the 3d object so uh, go to add and uh, I saved it as a JPEG insert photo here's my design so the design is pretty small now which you can enlarge it and you can see the the shape um, changes 
but if you play around with it you can get it right So that looks uh, pretty good. You can also go to advanced and then you have some more options. You can rotate. Of course we want it in the center. And you see it can take some time to, to get it right, but that doesn't matter. So that looks good. But now you see the white of the, um, of the design. So if we want to get rid of that, go to the layer. This is the layer we just um, added. And then change the, the layer style and most of the time I use multiply and now you can see the design on the object there's a little part missing here just use the same layer and then you can uh, Draw everything you want, just add it. <clears throat> so if you want to add more, you can just draw it in here. And uh, this is the way I like to uh, show uh, a back piece like this to my client. This is just for showcasing it. Um, if you want to make the stencil for the client, you go back to the original drawing, uh, measure your um, client's back and make the stencil uh, accordingly to his body. So here's a uh, sketch I'm working on. So you can also just draw on the on the design. This is a pretty rough sketch. Uh, you can see it, see it here. Let me pick that color again. So you always want to turn it so that it's in front of you. Just like you would draw on a real arm, you want it in front of you. And what I mean by that is, now this is curved, so you don't want to keep drawing all the way to here. Instead, um, change the rotation so that it is uh, towards you. So this is uh, something uh, I will have to uh, finish in the next couple of days. It's not necessary because most of the times I will just draw on the client. But sometimes uh, you get a little bit stuck in your um, designs.
and uh, this is a nice way to um, get some new ideas. Um, another good thing to um, to keep in mind is that you uh, save the original file so every time you make a new design just uh, duplicate the 3d model so you have a new one and you keep a clean one so this is the one you uh, will draw on um, you can also uh, change the uh, environment and what I mean by that is uh, you can change the lighting and the colors of the background. So if you go to 3D, edit lightning, lighting and environment, and go to environment, you see you can change the background color. And you can also play around with uh, the lights. You can add another light. So it's uh, just a, a nice way to show uh, ideas to your clients or to um, experiment yourself. I still work on um, uh, 2D uh, projects as well, so this is a uh, design. Uh, I'm not able to rotate it, but it gives me a pretty good idea of how I want to lay out uh, the sleeve. But a 3D design uh, can be really uh, handy as well. See, this is also a uh, 2D design that I worked on. And here you see another 3D design of a flower composition. So it's a really uh, a unique and a technical way to show designs. Okay, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. I will put a link uh, in the description to uh, the 3D models. And uh, see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.